Hello guys, welcome. Now in this tutorial, we are going to talk about what is data masking for the large language model. This is the second phase that happens in the prompt journey. In the first step, what we did was we did a secure data retrieval and grounding. Now this is the second step in the prompt journey where we do the data masking. As the name indicates, it is going to mask the data. Not all data will be masked, but only the sensitive information, which should not be shared with the outside systems, only that piece of information will be masked. The Einstein trust layer includes data masking, which hides sensitive information. So any information which is sensitive, it could be anything related to the customer. What this trust layer will do is it will include data masking. It detects the sensitive data using patterns and context. Then it replaces it with placeholder text to protect it from being shared with outside system. So first important step that happens under data masking is it first and foremost, it detects the sensitive data based on patterns and context and it uh, figures out what piece of information is sensitive. And then what it does is it replaces that information with placeholder text to protect it from being shared with the outside system. The system temporarily saves the relationship between the original data and the placeholder. This is very, very important where whichever text it is replacing with the placeholder, it is saving that information where it during the data unmasking process that table would be used. OK, the system temporarily saves the relationship between the original data. Let's say there was a company's um, or let's say customer phone number was the sensitive information. So what it did was it replaced that phone number with a placeholder text and it said that, OK, this number 1122, whatever the number is, it has been replaced with this placeholder text. OK. So that information would be stored somewhere. Later, this relationship is used to reveal the real data in the AI response. So when the AI response comes back, this data unmasking will happen during the response journey. And this particular information will be used to replace the placeholder text back onto the original data. So now if I go back here to the prompt, OK. So you can see here, this was your this was your original template. OK, this was your original template. It has information like organization name, contact name, account name, contact address, customer history, and then the conversation context and then knowledge article. So these are some of the uh, pl placeholders that we are using in during the process of dynamic grounding. Everything which is the placeholder has been replaced with the data from the CRM. So you can see here organization name has been replaced by Cumulus Financial. Then customer name has been replaced here. How many years he has worked has been replaced. So all the placeholder text has been replaced with the actual data. Now, which of this information is sensitive? So that information happens over data masking. Data masking is the process where it figures out the sensitive information. So over here, it figured out the company name is sensitive. The client name is sensitive. Address is sensitive. So it has put a placeholder for it. Now the customer history where this five years is not a sensitive information. So it has not put a placeholder for it. So whichever places it, sh it felt that the data is very sensitive and should not be shared with the outside system, it has added the placeholders. And uh, what happens is this relationship between the placeholder and the original data will be saved somewhere so that it can be referenced back when the response comes from these large language models. OK, so that is what is data masking. So what is data masking? Data masking is basically the it hides the sensitive information. It replaces it with placeholder text to protect it from being shared with the outside system. System temporarily saves the relationship between the original data and the placeholder. And later, this relationship will be used or this connection, I would say, is used to reveal the real data in the AI response. So this is called as data masking. I hope you guys are enjoying this tutorial. I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you.